Hi everyone, this is Shiva from iTunes and Academy. Welcome back to our Kubernetes interview question series, guys. Uh, today we'll be discussing about a specific question. Right? Let me show you that. And it is specific to the project perspective. Where have you implemented Docker and Kubernetes in your project? Okay, so read the question twice. Take a break here. I mean, uh, pause the video. Get the answer from yourself. Uh, the question is very specific to where have you implemented Docker and Kubernetes in your project? And the interviewer is not asking you about the differences of Kubernetes and Docker. He is very specifically asking about the implementation part from a project perspective. Okay. Now, if I want to elaborate this topic, this topic itself can take a, uh, a complete discussion altogether. But I don't want to go into the detailing of that particular topic. Because as we are discussing from interview perspective, I want to stick to that lines only. Okay. But if you guys still are interested in getting the clear differences between Docker and the Kubernetes, you can uh, post in the comment section so that I can pick that question and keep it in the to-do list. Okay. So coming to the question back, right, you can frame this question in different, different ways. Okay. Let me show you. So basically Docker, as you knew, it's a technology basically or a software that generally will be helping you to build and run applications, right? And Kubernetes is specific to an orchestrator where it will be helping you to run the applications or scale applications or whatever it might be on a cluster as pods and they will be containing something called as a containers, okay? But if you want to explain to the interview, you need to elaborate in a different way, okay? Let me do one thing. Let me take down the uh, document and I'll be writing the question and answer clearly so that you guys can take a reference of it and frame the questions accordingly, right? So the question, um, okay, let me do one thing, okay? So um, the answer, so to answer the question, okay? Uh, you can do this way, okay. Firstly, you can inform the interview that, okay, as mentioned earlier, as mentioned earlier, uh, as a DevOps engineer, okay, I have been working on different projects, okay. We have few uh, Java based projects and node applications as well. Okay. Now I have created multiple Docker files for my applications. Okay. And with the help of Docker, I have created a images for my applications okay so you can tell them that you have been implementing docker here to create the images and along with that uh, i have used docker uh, to log in and push the images to our company internal registry this can be your JFrog or this can be your Nexus or this can be your GCR, whatever it might be. So here you'll be using, again using Docker. Okay. Next. Ideally, I implemented all these Docker commands or Docker scenarios in the Jenkins pipelines. Have created groovy methods for the same. Uh, you can ignore the typos. I will be rectifying them after the video is done. I don't want to elaborate this. I have created groovy methods for the same. Okay. Next. Coming back to Kubernetes. Uh, we are having multiple environments for our project. That is, you can tell them that you are having multiple environments like a dev, test, stage, and prod okay and these are uh, created on gke 
like you can say if you are comfortable in amazon you can go for eks or if you are comfortable in azure you can go for aks as well but the thing is you need to convey him that him or her that uh, you are working on multiple environments and for that you have been using kubernetes and where exactly are you been using the images that you have been having right the images that is been built and push it from docker those are been used as part of the manifest files in kubernetes and i implemented the same in the jenkins pipeline so thing is jenkins pipeline okay so to summarize ideally docker will be will be implementing docker basically to have the images been built to push the image to the registry once the image is been pushed to the registry technically what we generally do is we'll be let's say let me elaborate uh, you are having a docker file here and this file will be converting into something called as an image and this image will be pushed into something called as a image registry okay till here you will be using docker docker or docker commands basically and once the image is been available you will be taking help of kubernetes orchestrator tool where you will be having multiple environments like a dev test stage prod and each environment will be having multiple manifest files let's say deploy.yaml files and all and in that you will be taking this image and pushing and deploying them as part of the manifest file here okay this itself will be creating something called as a pods and it will be having something called containers okay so by elaborating this way it clearly states that okay you have been really working on docker and kubernetes and try to be in a way that explain them as clear as possible don't give one word answers because that, that doesn't make a good impression on you right uh, i hope this question is very helpful for you and one more thing <clears throat> as discussed in the, in the previous video as well i have been i'll be giving you the forms for the questions in the chat in the comment section or in the description of this video do post your questions over there already have got few questions i am consolidating them and i'll be creating uh, uh, a various topic on the same as well and not only that i have already created few of the questions on a topic wise i will be adding your questions to that as well okay so it's not like uh, i'll be creating a videos on your questions only i am already having a group of questions already prepared and along with those questions i want to get some uh, questions which you have been facing issues in your interviews right so you can uh, take that form link and you can happily uh, ask your question whichever you want to uh, ask and uh, finally i want you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click on the bell notification so that you'll be getting all the latest notifications as well and i am already available on instagram at i20 sen academy you can follow me over there as well so that it will be giving some uh, encouragement for me to do multiple videos like the same right see you in the next video with a different question till now till then you can be uh, happily learning all the kubernetes topic bye for now